It's time for another Adventures of the Lopez Boys. <clears throat> it was Halloween, and Grayson and Dean were going around their neighborhood trick-or-treating with their mommy and daddy. They were going door to door and were making lots of candy from each visit. And their bags were getting very full. As they were passing by the next block, they went by the green park that daddy takes them to very often where they sometimes throw their boomerangs. <clears throat> As they were passing by, they heard a laugh. <laughs> they looked over and they saw a gold glint, a shining of gold by the playground and walking out was none other than the million dollar man Ted DiBiase wearing his million dollar belt. Dean and Grayson looked at each other. Uh-oh, what's he want? said Grayson. Dean said, I don't know. The million dollar man kept walking towards them. And stopped just in front of him and said, Hey, boys, I see you got a big bag of candy there. <laughs> I know I could buy all the candy I want because I'm rich. But I want your candy. And Grayson and Dean said, No. And they turned around and looked at their mom and dad. And as their mom and dad looked down at them, ready to help them, Grayson and Dean's eyes got really big and their faces were really scared because they saw right behind their mom and dad was the enormous hey. Andre the Giant. And Andre grabbed dad and mom, held each one of them under an arm, walked across the street, and tossed them onto the roof of the house. Mom? And they were too high up to get down to be able to help their boys. Mom and dad. And once they were up there, unable to get back down, Andre walked back to the other side of the street. Boom, 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 big heavy steps. And of course, the million dollar man <laughs> laughed and said, it's time to hand over the candy, boys. But Grayson and Dean weren't going down with the fight. Because this wasn't just any normal night. It was Halloween night. And Grayson was dressed like Hulk Hogan. And Dean was dressed like Macho Man Randy Savage. They were the Mega Powers. And Grayson turned to Dean and said, You ready to tear these two apart, brother? And Dean looked at Grayson and said, Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Dean dove underneath Ted DiBiase's legs. Ted DiBiase bent over, looked under his legs to see where he's going, and Grayson jumped on his back. <clears throat> From standing on his back, he was almost as tall as Andre the Giant. And from there, 
He jumped off of Ted DiBiase's shoulders and clotheslined Andre the Giant. Andre staggered and stumbled, but he didn't fall. Grayson looked over and said, Dean, you got to help me here. And by that time, Ted DiBiase recovered, turned around, and lunged at Dean. But Dean was too quick, and he sprinted around, and Ted DiBiase couldn't catch him. Now, Dean and Grayson were on either side of Andre the Giant. And Andre regained his balance, looked back and forth at the two boys, trying to figure out which one he wanted to go after. He saw that, he, that Dean was too quick for Ted DiBiase, so he probably couldn't catch him either. So then he turned his attention over to Grayson, a.k.a. the Hulkster brother. And he took a big step towards Grayson. It was I did. But Grayson thought really quickly. And just like Hulk Hogan normally gives people a big boot to the face, Grayson gave Andre the Giant a big boot to the knee. This hurt his leg really bad. And so he fell down to his other knee and was on one knee so now he was much shorter Dean ran up and climbed on Andre's back and got him in a sleeper hold <clears throat> rest in peace Ted DiBiase saw this happening and decided to run over and try and help as <clears throat> Ted DiBiase was running for Andre the Giant Grayson dropped down and got him in a drop toe hold and Ted DiBiase fell on his face right in front of Andre the Giant. Oh, feel bleed. Meanwhile, Dean was holding on tight with a sleeper hold on Andre the Giant. And you could tell he was struggling. He couldn't get Dean off. He was twisting his head and turning, but he wouldn't fall. Grayson saw this chance, got up, and now that Andre the Giant was all bent over and on one knee. Now he could give him the big boot all the way to his face. So he ran over. Boom! Big boot, boot to Andre's face. Andre rolled and fell over and landed right on top of Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase. Oh, help! I can't get up! You're squishing me, Andre! Get up! And just that time... Dean ran to the closest tree, climbed up, pointed up to the sky, and jumped off, landing on Andre the Giant and Ted DiBiase with a big flying elbow drop. And Grayson, to finish him off, ran up and dropped the leg drop, the guillotine leg drop on both of them. Boom! And they were done. They grabbed their bags of candy and ran over to try and help their mom and dad down from the roof of the building. Mom and dad were so proud of their boys for being super strong and taking out Ted DiBiase and Andre the Giant. Grayson and Dean helped them down and they finished the night trick-or-treating and getting all the candy. The end.